What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Blastoise team. A Shell Smash Water Spout Blastoise team. That's right, we got Kyogre at home. Uh, but anyways, this team I found over on Rickstar's channel. I'm gonna make sure to link them in the description below. But the idea behind this team is you set up Blastoise with Shell Smash, get your defenses back with White Herb, and then spam Water Spouts. We got Rain on Pelipper to boost that Water Spout. We got Fake Out and Helping Hand on Insin to help set it up and to boost that Water Spout. We got another Fake Out user in Palmot who can also Revival Blessing the Blastoise, but you're going to be revived at half, so it's, it's not perfect. And also Amoongus. Amoongus is great. It can spore things that threaten Blastoise. It can Rage Powder away hits from the Blastoise. It can Pollen Puff to heal up the Blastoise. The one downside with all of that is there's really nothing to stop a Rillaboom from just ripping this Blastoise in half because it's Terra Water, and Rage Powder doesn't affect Rillaboom. So what we have in this last slot is just a great Mon in Rain, Archaladon. It's great into Rillaboom, it's just a great Mon in general. This Mon will probably carry you if you want to use this team, but I'm going to force Blastoise onto the field every time. So I don't know how well it's going to do. Blastoise is not the strongest Pokemon in the world. I don't have super high hopes for it, but also I kind of have high hopes for it. I want to click Terra Water Water Spout, and I want to blow stuff up. But anyway, let's see if I can do that. All right, we've got a High Dragon, King Gambit, Primarina, Rillaboom, Amoongus, Gallade team. Water resist, water resist, water resist, water resist, wide guard user, King Gambit. This is not Blastoise's day, is it? <laughs> and they have a Rillaboom specifically, which is the... That's a bad matchup. Blastoise just can't catch a break, huh? Alright. Our Chaladon seems fine. Into everything but Gallade. Maybe Blastoise can blow a hole early on for our Chaladon. I can bait in the, the Rillaboom, bring in our Chaladon, get a free defense boost. Maybe try to get rid of Gallade with it. Man, Gallade does a number to this team too. Wide Guard for Blastoise, Sacred Sword, Sacred Sword, Psycho Cut. I'll do Blastoise Palmot. That'll at least get me one turn to do something with Blastoise. I don't want Insin because it'll activate their King Gambit, and also Insin doesn't do much against anything there except like Rillaboom. But our Chaladon should be able to handle Rillaboom. And then we need Pelipper because we're bringing our Chaladon. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, Amoongus seems alright. But I couldn't find really space for it. See, if you're bringing our Chaladon, you need Pelipper. And Blastoise isn't going to be protected by an Amoongus from, like, Grassy Glider Woodhammer. Ah, oh, no trainer card, boo. Now, I'm gonna be real here, I'm forcing Blastoise into this game. Blastoise should absolutely not have been brought into this game. I am forcing it. And I'm gonna pay for that, aren't I? Oh boy, I'm gonna try to Shell Smash. I guess I could fake out Hydra, I could... They're gonna Rage Powder, right? You would Rage Powder in this position, right? I need to make plays. I'm using a Blastoise against a bad team. Alright. Shell Smash. Fake out the High Dragon. Yeah. You, Amoongus, you Rage Powder. You do not Spore. Thank you. Thank you, Amoongus. That is exactly what I needed. Whew. We get the flinch on high dragon, that's great. Cool. Now here we go. There's not much that water spout's gonna do to these guys. I'm wondering if they I think they want to target. Blastoise down with maybe a Spore. I want to protect Blastoise and see if I can get a cheeky close combat into their High Dragon for free. 
just see if I can pull that off. I think they might want to spore this time. But they could just Rage Powder here. They did. Okay. That might not be too bad. I might get a little bit of chip on Amoongus. And High Dragon might just be throwing a single target move at Blastoise anyway. That little bit of chip might be worthwhile too. They have Rocky Helmet. Okay, I'm not Sash. It is Draco Meteor commi committing into the Blastoise. Do you think Rain Boosted Terra Water Water Spout can knock these guys out from here? I think I have to try. I think I have to Terra Water Water Spout and bring in the Rain. Blastoise is not going to be able to do anything if it can't do this. I don't think it KOs either, though. If Amoongus just lives and goes for Rage Powder... Well, it should go for Rage Powder. It saw the close combat. So at least that won't be a big deal. But High Dragon getting a Draco off is going to be rough. High Dragon might go down. If they're a particularly frail set, we already got a little bit of chip. This is actually a really powerful move we're sending at them. The only bad part about this is Blastoise's special attack is pretty low. They are Rage Powdering. That's a waste. I like to see that. Come on, Water Spout. If you can knock out High Dragon, we can win this game. Double KO! Did it, was there a crit? Okay, Blastoise, you're stronger than I thought. Now, we did just commit that, so there's, like, no shot against Rillaboom now. No, that's not true. We can protect Hurricane, we can protect Swap and Fake Out. We can get one turn against the Rillaboom. There's King Gambit. And there's no Rillaboom. Okay. No Rillaboom. I'm gonna protect Blastoise and bring in Palma, I think. If I can get the fake out turn, that would be fantastic. They might be able to KO Palma on the swap reading this, but I think it's the best play I have. Because I'm not out of this yet. There's Sucker Punch plays, there's Wide Guard plays. There's even a Trick Room play, but I don't hope I hope that's not the case. There's King Gambit with the Dark Terra. Yeah, they're going for a powerful Sucker Punch. Man, I have to cover for Sucker Punch and Wide Guard this next turn? Yikes. Uh, it could just be Sucker Punch, Blastoise, Psycho Cut, and then I lose Paul Mott anyway. Shadow Sneak. Shadow Sneak, Glade. And Sucker Punch. Well, I need to Water Spout, and I need to Fake Out. I need to Fake Out the King Gambit. I can't- that plus, that Dark Terra Sucker Punch is gonna take my health way too low. If they Wide Guard this turn, it just wastes a turn, because they don't get anything off. So I guess that's fine. They have Protect on King Gambit, but it went first, so I don't think they have Protect on Gallade. Yeah, they don't seem to have any Protection on Gallade. All right. I can take a Shadow Sneak, that's fine. I'm gonna take her Gallade with me. Ah, oh, no, they have Lagard. Okay. That's fine. Because now I get to close combat into your King Gambit. You're not gonna be able to stop that. What's my attack stat look like? I'm Jolly Max. Uh, that might KO. I'm going to go ahead and protect Blastoise just to be careful here. Because I really don't want to get sucker punched. But I should be able to close combat this King Gambit. And I would guess Gallade has Stab Stab Shadow Sneak Wide Guard. So no Trick Room. And no Protect this Wide Guard. But yeah, that's not enough for King Gambit. They didn't Sucker Punch. Are they doubling into Palmot? Well, they're psycho-cutting the Palmot. That makes sense. Show me not a sword stance. Count that feet. That's fine. Just hoping and I, uh... I don't know what they were hoping for there. 
Just, they were just covering for maybe a swap. Uh, Pelipper has a Sash. That's really strong. Our Chaladon cannot take a Sacred Sword. I'm going to bring in Pelipper, and I want to Hurricane down that Gallade. And I will... I'm actually willing to Ice Beam the King Gambit here. Hurricane Gallade. I'm not going to get off another Water Spout. This Sucker Punch, I don't think Oko's Blast on us. We're going at Pelipper. Is this also Shadow Sneak? No. Alright, so King Gambit's gone. That should be game. Because you can only knock out one of us, and I think Hurricane's going to move first. Though you could be faster than this Pelipper if you're fast. You are, wow. Okay, that's really scary. And the rain is gone. But unfortunately for you, if you Sacred Sword into my Archaladon, you can't Wide Guard that turn. And if you Wide Guard, you're not doing anything to Archaladon that turn. So I can Water Spout, and I can Flash Cannon. And yep, they don't Wide Guard, they have to attack. This might just KO them outright. Uh, looks like they have a Sash. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you're a fast Gallade, that makes sense. Sacred Sword into Arch. Good but Oh! Arch lives! I'm guessing they're Jolly then. And Flash Cannon finishes them off. Let's go Blastoise! Blastoise getting three KOs and then bringing the last two with Sash? Let's go! And that looked like a bad matchup, too. Okay, Blastoise strong. Let's go. Go get a trainer card. Alright, here we go. We've got- Oh, they've got a Gastrodon! That's about the worst thing we could see. Alright, there's also an Amoongus, Seraledge, Dragonite, Sableye, Tyranitar. I could have dealt with everything, but not that Gastrodon. No! Okay, no grass moves on this team either. Uh, what, what are we gonna do? I guess Blastoise can still hit the partner, but it's not looking good. All right, biggest hits we can do are like Draco Meteor, Terra Grass, Archaladon, can sort of wall the Gastrodon. Moongus could sleep it. Ice Beam doesn't do bad damage into everything. So maybe I just go Blastoise on lead with a fake out and then have Pelipper Archaladon in the back because Pelipper's Hurricane can hit it pretty decently. I would like to take weather away from them. I feel like they're wanting to bring. I feel like they want to bring Tyranitar, but I mean, we actually have a really good matchup into Titar with everything. Seraledge wouldn't like being put in the rain. Dragonite wouldn't like to fight our Chaladon. Okay, so I think I lead one of the fake outs. I guess I want to go Palmot. I mean, Palmot and Incin are both able to get hurt. Yeah, I'll do Palmot, Pelipper, Archaladon. I, I just feel like Palmot and can do a little bit more offense than Incineroar can. The problem is it might just get removed immediately before it can do anything with that offense. That's a cool card. Not sure where you took that. That's pretty cool. Okay. Sableye, it's just a Gastrodon lead with Sableye. Come on, man. I could... I could swap. Um, Sableye could Encore, it could Disable, it could Fake Out, it could Taunt. So many problems that could come up. I guess I could save Blastoise for later and just see how much damage I can do onto Gastrodon right away. I don't think they would target Blastoise. I think I could Ice Beam... In fact, I think I could Shell Smash Fake Out Gastrodon here. Gastrodon just protects. Unless the Sableye has, like, Encore or Taunt, we might be able to get that, like, close combat and a plus two Ice Beam. Okay, they're just gonna set screens. Fine. I'm just gonna get the Shell Smash off for free. That's nice. And since they have screens, you usually you would run Reflect, Light screen, foul play, and you have one fun move to play with. What do I think their fun move would be? It could be Encore. 
which would be devastating. Uh, it's gonna be hard to do damage to this Gastrodon. But that's what we gotta do. So I'm gonna Ice Beam it. And hit it with a, it's probably gonna Earth Power my Palmot here. I could maybe bring in Pelipper. And then hit it next turn with a Hurricane. I feel like that might be free. Ice Beam. They could also have Clear Smog as a possibility. You know what, I will just click Close Combat into it. They do have Encore on the Sableye, okay. Well, this was the worst possible matchup anyway. <laughs> oh boy. And Palmot can't touch Sableye. But they're probably gonna get rid of my Palmot right here. Hopefully I can do some decent damage with close combat. Like, Reflect is up. We do about a quarter. Maybe a little more than a quarter. And let me guess, Earth Power. Yep, bye Palmot. Because you're not Sash, Pelipper has the Sash. Oh boy. Well. This went about as well as I thought it would. I forced Blastoise into a matchup it shouldn't have been in, and that's what's happening. Alright, we have to worry about Encore from Sableye, but we can bring in Pelipper here. Terra Grass Electro Shot. Can Archaladon win? Archaladon can win this game. I guess. Bring in Pelipper. Terra Grass for the Earth Power Resistance. Electro Shot the Sableye. Then they could encore me into Electro Shot, making Gastrodon just immune, but it's fine. Yep, here's our Terra. Beautiful set of flowers on Archaladon's head. I didn't want this to turn into an Archaladon game, but mm, Blastoise didn't get to do anything. Yeah, here's Light Screen. I knew they would have that. Their last move is most likely Foul Play. I'm just gonna get a special attack boost here. And then maybe I can eliminate Gastrodon and come in for Water Spouts later. Let's see what Gastrodon wants to do here. Okay, Electro Shot does not do half to save a lie. But Earth Power does nothing on Good. Oh, we get a special defense drop though. That's not great. No, you have mostly physical attackers left. It's just Gastrodon and like Amoongus, I guess. Uh, I need to get rid of Sableye. I'm gonna Hurricane Electro Shot, unless they have something that can swap in. They do, they have Tyranitar. Maybe I swap out into Blastoise to try to read that and body press the Sableye slot? Am I that crazy? No, I could flash cannon. Yeah, I could flash cannon that slot. I think Sableye would want to swap out to Tyranitar. Gastrodon swapping? Is this Tyranitar? Okay, I'm, I'm glad I did not commit to the body press. But getting Encore into Electro Shot in the sand, that's fun. Because they Encored me and I was clicking Flash Cannon, the way that works is if you're Encored into the move you clicked, you get to keep your target. But if you're Encored into a move you didn't click, it picks a target for you. So this might not be going at Sableye. I would guess Blastoise is the fastest thing on the field here. I should just click Water Spout. Yeah, they're not swapping. What's this Terra? Is it Flying Titar? Why did you do that? To resist the water move? If the Electroshot goes into that slot, you're in big trouble. 
Oh, they also they have no attacks on Sableye. They have disabled. Okay. That's funny. We could do some damage to Sableye there, I guess. Oh wow. Just take out my Archaladon, yeah. I Nope. I get to swap Archaladon. Okay. I mean they can encore my water spout or they can disable my water spout. What they cannot do is stop me from clicking a move with Blastoise. So I think I need to Ice Beam. I could Ice Beam Tyranitar. Maybe I just Ice Beam Sableye, see if I can get rid of it. And Archaladon has to swap. If I even click Fight, I'll struggle. So no choice there. I think they would try to disable Water Spout because they know Pelipper is coming in. And they don't want to get hit by a rain boosted Water Spout. Yeah, that's definitely their play. Okay. I didn't want to protect that because, well, one, it wastes a turn, and two, then they would be able to encore me into that. This should be into. Oh, it's into Pelipper? Okay. At least we get a little bit of health back with Rain Dish. I mean, we can leave and come back. We could double into Gastrodon. We could try to stall out as many turns as possible. Like, as bad as this matchup is, I don't think it's, like, over, over. They, sh they, they do have Light Clay, so that's not one turn of Light Screen, that's four. Hmm. Tyranitar could swap out to take Weather Bat. I think Blastoise needs to swap to Archaladon. I'm getting so low on health, though. This is bad. Don't think I need the Tailwind. Okay, I'm gonna call that Tyranitar swaps. Our Chaladon should be able to get in safely, and I get a free Hurricane into Gastro. Tyranitar could just stay in here. It might just stay in if they want to give me weather. But I feel like they think they can take weather. So they might be pulling Tyranitar out. I hope I hope they are pulling Tyranitar out. That's what I'm playing on. Nope, they're leaving Tyranitar in. Okay, it's gonna get a KO. Can I get duckies? Thank you. Thank you, Pelipper. That hurricane actually did decent damage. And they have a citrus berry. Uh, it's better than leftovers, I guess. And Rock Slide double connects. Pelipper down. Our Chaladon stamina up, but only at 22 HP. Alright, duckies. Please save my Archaladon here. I don't want Gastrodon to do anything here, whether it's Yawn, Ice Beam, Earth Power, Clear Smog. Earth Power we might live. We do live, actually. That's not the worst thing in the world, then. So what's my win condition here? Duckies hits the Gastrodon, we double into Tyranitar and take it out. With Electro Shot, Ice Beam. Or does Electroshot do it on its own? I want to back it up with an Ice Beam. It's not like I'm ever going to be clicking Water Spout with Gastrodon on the field. But the Gastrodon has to hit itself, or protect, or go after Blastoise, maybe. Then maybe we have a shot. Our Chaladon also has to be faster than Tyranitar, but I think it is. I don't know if we've seen the interaction. A freeze? I should have used that on Gastrodon then! Oh, wow! Blastoise, you used all of your luck on that! No, we needed we needed the luck for Gastrodon to hit itself! We still we still need Gastrodon to hit itself, but that freeze doesn't matter because we took out Tyranitar. That freeze was useless, Blastoise. If I had known you were going to do that, I would have sent it at Gastrodon. And just hoped Electroshot chaos Tyranitar. But maybe Gastro will hit itself and we'll stay in this game. Yeah! Okay! Okay, it's not over. It very much depends on what their last is. I'm hoping... 
I don't know, Amoongus maybe? Dragonite, that's bad. Is that bad? They already burned Terra, I can Ice Beam. They're gonna knock out my Archaladon, sure. But I'll try to Draco Meteor the Gastrodon. I'm faster with Blastoise. I don't want to lower my defenses. I already used my White Herb, so I need to Ice Beam the Dragonite just straight up, which I don't think is enough. Even if they're Inner Focus, I think they might be able to live Ice Beam as long as they're a bulky set. Yep, our Chaladon, even at the defense boosts, couldn't take that. Ice Beam does. Yeah, about 75%. Gastrodon is no longer confused. And it has Yawn. Okay, maybe Gastro protects. We've seen Earth Power and Yawn. So I should Ice Beam the Dragonite, which probably just extreme speeds. That does half to Blastoise, that's too much. Plus Gastrodon not protecting here. Well, we brought it way further than we had any right to. And Blastoise is still kicking. Oh boy. And now we're asleep though, and we are a free Earth power away. And Light Screen wore off. So that Dragonite wasn't actually all that bulky. If Light Screen was down, we could have taken it out. But there's no way we could have lasted that long, because our Chaladon didn't have Protect. Oh, good game. It really came down to just Gastrodon walls Blastoise all day. <laughs> GG. All right. Rival Rain Team. We won't have to fight over the weather. They've got Basque Legion. They've got Pelipper. Garchomp. Their own Archaladon. Their own Amoongus. And a Golden Go. Uh, what are the speed tiers? Uh, speed tiers have been something I've been having to look up. Because Blastoise is 78. Basque Legion is 78. Okay, so if they're adamant, we speed tie when I Shell Smash. That's fun. <laughs> uh, I think Water Spout does decent damage, so I want to go with Blastoise. And the Fake Out user I want to use might be Incineroar, just to intimidate the Basket Legion if that leads. Like, I could use Palmot for a Fake Out turn, but... Or maybe I want to use Amoongus. Would Redirection be better? They lead Golden Go, it doesn't do much into Blastoise anyway. They lead a Moongus, then we could be in trouble, but then we have a fake out user in back. I'm gonna bring my own Archaladon. I'm not gonna bring Pelipper. I'm gonna count on them to bring Pelipper. And then I do think it is Incineroar. We have goggles for the Amoongus. We can handle a Golden Go pretty decently. There's a couple intimidate targets, only one of them can be clear amulet. Oh boy. This should be fun. I hope we get to see a uh, Blastoise Basculi- Oh no, trainer card! I hope we get to see the speed tie, uh, and I hope it goes our way. Alright, what's your lead? Garchomp, Archaladon. Interesting. If their Archaladon commits Terra Grass, they can Electroshot our Blastoise right here, right now. So I'm gonna protect Blastoise. And spore the Garchomp slot. I wanna I wanna bait out their Terra. If they are Terra Grass, they can click it right now. And either Yep, they are they are going for Terra. And either Power Herb Electroshot or bring in Pelipper, but they didn't bring in Pelipper. Yep, they're Terra Grass. I knew it. That's not great. <laughs> Maybe they're Power Herb Electroshot then? Alright, Garchomp's just using Earthquake. So Rage Powder would have given us nothing this turn. Good to know. They take a little damage, but they do get the stamina boost in exchange. Draco Meteor into Blastoise. They're not Power Herb. And 
Go to sleep, chomp. Thank you. Alright, I think the play now is to Shell Smash and then heal our Blastoise from whatever damage it took. So if they're gonna Draco Meteor Blastoise, I think Blastoise can take a Draco Meteor. And then we can heal up to a reasonable amount. Blastoise is pretty tanky and our Chalodon doesn't typically run a lot of special attack. Especially now that we know they're a stamina set. Snarl! Okay, that will consume our White Herb. So we actually still do get the plus two from Shell Smash, but we're lowering our defenses. We no longer get to erase our defense props, but I think that's fine. I would rather have plus two special attack and a defense drop than only have plus one special attack from that. So I think that's a fair deal. Um, now my question is, do I just want to Ice Beam the Garchomp? Do I want to protect and bring in an Intimidate and a Fake Out? Because I could heal up my Amoongus that way. I think that's what I want to do. I want to have a Fake Out turn. Okay, our Chaladon actually swapping. Who too? Goldingo. Okay. That's cool. I like that. I would love to throw a water spout now. Are you clear amulet, Chomp? You're not clear amulet. That's interesting. You're not gonna earthquake now that you brought in Goldingo, but you're still asleep anyway. I think it's time for Terra Water Water Spout with a helping hand boost. Let's do as much damage as we can right here, right now. We are full health, we are plus two special attack, we are going Terra Water, and we are giving it a helping hand. If Golden Go and Garchomp can both eat this, then I'll admit Blastoise is mid. But if Blastoise can get this double K, oh, we can win this match. They don't have Terra left. They're not swapping. They could be protecting either slot. I think the Golden Go would probably be a nasty plot set, so I would bet they have Protect on it. All right, here's Helping Hand. Any Protects? No Protects. Max Special Attack, plus two, Helping Hand, Terra Water, Water Spout. It's a double KO. Let's go, Blastoise. Woo! <laughs> Oh yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Okay, there we go. Who do you got left? Is it Pelipper Archaladon? It is Archaladon. Well, it's Archaladon, of course. But is it Pelipper? It's Amoongus Archaladon. I'm gonna protect Blastoise, and I'm gonna get rid of their Assault Vest on Archaladon. I think that needs to be my play. Uh, I could also flare blitz the. Am I could flare blitz the Amoongus later. Yeah, I'm gonna protect. Get rid of their assault vest. That way, hopefully, I can ice beam them later. It's just a rage powder, but that's not gonna affect my goggles ensign. And they go for Draco Meteor. That's good. I was a little worried they would, like, charge up an Electro Shot. Get that out of here. Salt Vest gone. Now I want to click Water Spout with a Helping Hand to get rid of their Archaladon. I think it's enough now. Now that they lost their Assault Vest. Yeah, battle's canceled. They know. They know. Let's go Blastoise. Get in the sweep. Nobody brought rain. That's weird. Okay, we've got a sun match. They've got Whimsicott, Typhlosion, a very scary combo in this meta. They've got Clefairy, Blood Moon or Saluna for Rigorath, and Annihilate. This team looks familiar. Is this... I think those are the six Wolfie used in a tour recently. But I don't know the exact team that was. 
That might be them. Okay. Anyway, what I do about Whimsicott Typhlosion is Incineroar can take a hit. I don't think Pelipper has Wide Guard. Nope. Pelipper's not great. Palmot could. I could bring Palmot and just fake out the Typhlosion. That'd be funny. Uh, I think I will. Blastoise Insin is good into any other lead. So I think I'll go with those. I think Blastoise would just be bait then, wouldn't it? I just need something with Protect. I'm not Pelipper. Uh, Blastoise, Pelipper in the back for sure. And then do I want Archaladon? Amoongus? I think I want Amoongus last. I'm relying mostly on Blastoise for the damage here. But that team, it's such an awkward team to fight. Manual Sun is better than... Ooh, that's a nice card. Manual Sun actually has... Like, you would think water is better than fire in the matchup. But actually, Manual Sun setting is stronger than Auto Rain setting. Okay, they got me with this lead. <laughs> They're gonna do beat up Rage Fist stuff with their Annihilate. Fun. And what am I gonna do about it? What I'm gonna do about it is... See if I can find Wolfie's team. Go to Amoongus and just protect. Next turn, if I assume they'll target the Blastoise with Rage Fist. So next turn we can Rage Powder and then at least get a Water Spout, maybe. <laughs> Shouldn't be able to Shell Smash because Whimsicott's gonna give us trouble. Yep, there's the beat up into Annihilate. Oh, they got us good on this lead. If they just hit Amoongus here, we lose. Okay, good. It isn't a Blastoise, at least. So that's not the worst start in the world. Um, what do I do now? I guess I need to Rage Powder away that uh, plus one max boosted Rage Fist. Can't shell smash, they will just encore it. The most damage I can do is what water spout, but they could put up sun. I don't think there's a play here. I'm gonna shell smash. I think. I need them to make mistakes in order to win this game <laughs> from here. Yeah, they just sunny day, so that's not great. Yep, Rage Fist takes out Amoongus. Now, my plan here is to give them their Defiant one more time. Hope they go after Blastoise and try to encore me into Shell Smash. Take out their Whimsicott with Flare Blitz. Then I can bring in Pelipper and start Water Spouting in the rain. Yeah, that's the only combo that, win that wins this. How's this Incineroar's bulk looking? We do have a lot of defense. Okay. If I bring in Pelipper now, they'll just set Sun again. Yeah, this is my only play. So my play is, it's a Covert Cloak Whimsicott, so Fake Out won't work. I need to protect Blastoise on the Encore. Hope that Annihilate goes after Blastoise as well, or doesn't pick up the KO on Ensign, which is asking a lot. Flare Blitz into the Whimsicott, knock it out so they can't Encore me. And then sweep with Water Spout. 
in the rain. I could Terra Grass here. That would help against a fighting move if they go for that. Maybe I should do that. I don't think they would Rage Fist into Incineroar. I think they would click Drain Punch. Or, oh, they might have close combat. That's what I need to do. It's my only play. I, I cannot win this game if they play this correctly. If they just Rage Fist, Incin, or if they just close combat Incin and that's enough at plus two, which it might be. But I think his set had Final Gambit. I don't know its EVs, but I would I would suspect it doesn't have a lot of attack EVs. All right, so Blastoise protects. Show me Encore into Blastoise. No, they're going for Tailwind. I think I can still work with that. Rage Fist into Blastoise, that's great. I guess what matters is the speed tiers between Annihilate and Blastoise. I don't know how his uh, his uh, Annihilate is trained. I also don't know who he has coming out next. It's Typhlosion, so I have no choice but to bring in Rain. Hope we are faster than Annihilate and Water Spout. Right? What else can I do? If I bring in Rain on the Blastoise slot, they're both going down. Ensign's not taking a fire move in the sun, in the rain, even. Yeah. I have to bring in Pelipper. We're gonna be slower than Typhlosion, for sure. And it's a Specs Typhlosion, that's scary. But we have to be faster than Annihilate. I don't know if we are. What speed are we hitting? 130? It's possible we're faster. And we have to be. I guess they could target the incense slot. But I don't see that. I think this is Eruption plus Rage Fist into Blastoise. So we have to be faster than their Annihilate. Man, I did not like that Tailwind. That Tailwind was a great play. If they're faster. Oh, a crit on Blastoise. That's not great. Oh, and they Rage Fist. Okay, yeah, that Tailwind won them the game. Well, that lead won them the game, but we had a shot to claw back if they had made that mistake. But they did not make a mistake. They knew what they were doing. At least they didn't make a mistake big enough to take advantage of. They don't know if we have Wide Guard. They could swap Typhlosion. Uh, their Annihilate is now plus three with all these Rage Fizz boosts. They're faster than Blastoise, so they'll be faster than Pelipper. They even have Terra still. Okay, they... I can get a hit with Incineroar if they attack Pelipper and I protect. But what does that get me? I can protect Pelipper. And I can hit, what, a Flare Blitz and hope it burns Annihilate? Knock off Crit into Annihilate, maybe? I got nothing. Yeah, Typhlosion does swap, but it's just gonna come back and Shadow Ball something. Oh, here's Ursaluna. Okay, we're at least faster than that. Here's a Terra. Maybe they have a Terra that's weak to Dark for some reason? Nope, it's Fire. Okay. Well, I couldn't burn them with Flare Blitz. I think this means they're going after Pelipper. Which is at least something good. Nope, they're going after Incin. Goodbye. <laughs> and GG. Yeah, we have nothing now. Because they can Rage Fist into Pelipper, they're faster. Okay, well, they got me good. And yeah, based on everything I've seen, that does look like it's Wolfie's team. So that's an Assault Vest Annihilate. Get me out of here. They have another turn of Tailwind. Yeah, get me out of here. Blastoise could not do it just based on that Tailwind alone because they had all these weaknesses to water in the back. If they hadn't put up that Tailwind, we would have had them. Good game. And we're back. Blastoise got to blow stuff up, and I am so happy about that. We, we lost a couple games there. But they were close, much closer than they should have been. 
and even games where Blastoise had a bad matchup, this team made it work anyway with the Blastoise. So thank you so much, Rickstar, for this team. I think you're the one who created it. And there's the rental code. You should try this too if you love Blastoise. I know a lot of people love Blastoise. Oh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace. <laughs>